Welcome to In An Instant. My name is Ben and welcome to the Instant Lounge. Today I wanted to share some stuff I've been working on and what to look forward to in 2021. Let's get it. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. So first thing on the docket, I got a wonderful Christmas surprise from our pals Doc and Chris over at SuperSense. And that was an early look at their limited experimental black and white film they're dropping later this year. Three years ago, the folks at 20 by 24 studio, which supplies SuperSense with much of their cold stored Polaroid chemistry, thought they had run out of the materials to make any more black and white large format film. This is an oversimplification, but that's basically what happened. They had been using the chemistry from the beloved 672 pack film for their 20 by 24 camera, but they ran out. Suddenly, a few weeks ago, during a house cleaning, they discovered a canister of polymer used to create this film, informed Doc and Chris, and boom, it was once again possible to make a limited run of SuperSense black and white film. Very exciting, it's happening. I wasn't expecting to be able to try this for a few months, but then I got this beautiful package with some experimental first runs done in-house at SuperSense, so you know I had to fire off. Chris had warned me the chemistry was fragile, the pods could be messy, and this test batch is unpredictable, but, well, you'll see. It's got the classic uh, coffee bag interior. Oof, that one fits good. All right, all right, hopefully these chemicals don't just explode onto my Bronco sweater. No explosions. Oh. Uh, instant reaction after having just peeled this, which was a little bit of a messy peel, but we forgive because it's experimental. I am just absolutely blown away by this. I mean, first of all, the the sharpness uh, uh, of the image is incredible. I mean, we shot it on the goose with a glass lens, but still, uh, these chemicals, you can't always rely on them to have the best like fidelity like that. Um, and then, just the tonal range, I mean, it's incredible. Uh, the, we, we shot this on this wall because it was gonna give you a nice range of, of shadows and highlights, and it's, it's incredible, and not to mention the like sepia element too. It, it's not like pure black and white, it's got a sepia tone to it. And the ASA recommendation of 25 definitely worked out because um, I maybe would have exposed it a little bit more on her eyes. It's a little dark up there, but generally I, I have no issues with, with the exposure here. So really, really, really happy with this. Anyway, amazing results. A very fun experience, and I cannot wait to shoot with that film again. Speaking of SuperSense, the next episode coming your way is a pack film spectacular. For everyone who's been asking for one of these episodes, here it is. It's all about the history and future of that medium, so stay tuned. I'm very proud of this episode. It's absolutely yoked with content. It will be followed by a long-form interview with Doc and Chris, which, for the diehards, is an absolute treat. It's just 45 minutes of talking about Polaroids and the origins of everything and the universe. We have a new buddy in the studio who's hanging out with me right now. This is the Intrepid 8x10 Mark II, and I've been shooting some 4x5 Polaroids with it, an 8x10, well, one 8x10, because I'm still working out a light leak problem, which is probably from the holder, but anyway. Um, I'm sure down the line I'll be talking more about this beast, which is called Biggie Bags, by the way, that's his name. But in the meantime, we will be getting an early look at Lomography's new Graflock 4x5 back. Highly anticipated, allows you to shoot Instax wide on a large format camera. The folks at Lomo are sending over a prototype, so I'm very excited to review it. Um, another vid down the pipe to look forward to. That's gonna be a game changer, I think, for Instax film, so. Just a few more things off the dome. We're doing uh, an RF-70 review that's coming, highly anticipated. We're doing an episode about Kodak instant film from Rochester, uh, the house of Kodak. A shoot with Matty Ice on pack film. And a new guidebook series with some how-tos. It's gonna be, gonna be fun. 2021 is already looking just fuego. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen that there is now an instant Discord channel. 
Uh, it's absolutely popping off. Already a very active community space for instant photographers. It's so cool. After one day, we had 150 members talking in the chat. It's just a really cool thing for me to see people come together so quickly. If you don't know what Discord is, uh, it's essentially, to me, like a vintage kind of internet chat room, just very free flowing. Uh, it's not like thread based, it's just a chat. There are sections for gear, critique, technique, and general talk. It's awesome. The people who bum rush that are awesome. And uh, we're 24 seven that thing's going, so it's great. Um, this channel is not even a year old yet this YouTube channel. And I'm very thankful to everyone who has supported it, everyone who is active in the YouTube comments, that has smashed that subscribe button to pieces, and that engages on Instagram. You know, 2020 was an extremely hard year for absolutely everybody in the world. We've lost a lot of people. Uh, we've lost a lot of the things that bring us joy and bring us together. And soon, I hope that will change. But this community, this Polaroid instant film community has been such a massive positive during this whole Rona. I don't know what I would have done without it, seriously. And without all of you, I'm so thankful. I love you and I'm in love with you. Well, I'm gonna keep this short just to check in for the new year. I'm very hype for what's to come and daddy wants that vaccine. Thank you for watching in an instant. Happy New Year, Papa Cork. Onto that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more reviews, breakdowns, tips, hangs in the lounge, and all things instant. Bye. Oof, that one fits good. That one fits good. Sometimes you kind of got to shove them in there, but. All right, it's PG. All right, so, oops, sorry to the fans at home. Not, we're not shoving anything that no one wants shoved in anywhere. <laughs> Let's shoot it.